Hunter over called you. You're welcome indeed to another edition of the Irish at Home and Abroad. Now, don't forget later on the programme, we're crossing over the Irish Sea to join Martin Logan in Manchester, who's out and about with the Irish community in the UK. But this week, we're coming to you from the town of Chum, where their annual traditional music festival is in full swing. tonight uh, and I'm very humbled to do that and I want to wish everybody well. Enjoy yourselves. A lot of work goes into putting a track fest together uh, to make it sustainable and to make it something that's repeated year in year out and it's something that really and truly takes a lot of effort and the town of Chum owes a great debt of gratitude to Anne and her team and to everybody else that's associated with this. I want to welcome all the artists who will be performing all weekend and uh, there is a buzz around the town, and I think that's what it's all about. They had the official opening yesterday at 7 o'clock here with Stephanie Sean Kenny, our local um, TD. Uh, we also had the official opening of this beautiful art exhibition that, that's here behind me uh, by Nicky Fallon. And we did our Hall of Fame award that was presented by PJ Personnel, our poet Joyce, the goal footballer, um, to Patsy Handley of Roscommon, flute player, very well known. And we then had pub sessions in about 10 pubs in town last night and I went around personally to each of them and every one of them were positive. So we finished up uh, very early this morning, might I add. The night to go from those and grand parade All the people of Cock City got afraid And the shouts went through the country That the Glen had won the county On the night to go from those and grand parade Then later on tonight we have sessions going then from 6 o'clock, 5 or 6 o'clock this evening in various pubs around the place and we have a huge kelly tonight, hopefully with Shaskin. Then tomorrow morning we start off with sessions both in this hotel and in the foyer of the R3 hotel and we'll finish up tomorrow night, I don't know what time. With a grand finale. Uh, well we'll have a little finale now on Monday when it's all over and relax. Yes. Some of the musicians will stay over until Monday and uh, we usually go to the Rusty Vaults on Monday mm. and uh, have a lovely little session where I can sit down and relax. Tommy, you're a proud uh, Chew man, and of course, you put your money where your mouth is. You're supporting the festival financially. I am indeed, and it's great uh, for Chum because 
Well, when I was growing up in Chomere, we had everything, theatre guilds, sugar factories, railway stations, two cinemas, a dan two dance halls, they were all gone. And when Anne approached me and, and Cohen to see if I sponsor again this year, I said I would. So I'm very proud of Joe. I'm born and bred in Joe, and I die in Joe. And what would you like to see now happening in Joe to bring it back to its glory? Well, I'd like to see the town commissioners being restored for openers. I don't know why they were ever done away with. I'd like to see the Chamber of Commerce again reaching its, the heights of Joe soon. I'd see the theatre guild again, and to see a cinema here again in Shoon, you know, that I, we've lost all these things. And as I said, the bigger a town gets, the less you seem to have in it. You know, people are commuting everywhere now. But would you be optimistic for the future of the town? Oh, of course I would, yeah. Mm. Actually, I think this, well, I think the bypass could be a, a double-edged sword. It's either going to make the town or break the town. Now, I've seen towns like and the slow taking a hide and got to go hide with the bypass. And yet Clark Gray seems to be thriving, you know, with a bypass. Um, I saw an ace as well one time and it died of death and now it's back to its former glory, you know, so you wouldn't know what a bypass does. But I, as I said, Chum, it'll either make Chum or break Chum, you know, but I think it'll make it. And of course, the fact that uh, Liam McCarthy Cup is coming this afternoon as part of the festival must give you great pride. Oh, sure, it's tremendous. And, uh, Great victory for Galway after 29 years and hopefully the footballers now will do it again inside another few years, come back after me all bring Sam across and uh, then Galway will do it again, hopefully. <laughs> well you'll get an opportunity to enjoy the festival over the weekend. Oh please God, yeah, and hopefully it'll be a great success, it seems to be going awful well all so far so good anyhow. And as I said, hopefully it'll go better from strength to strength and next year go from strength to strength as well. organization and all the pubs are jammed at this stage with musicians and uh, listeners and spectators. And it's, it's great to see the booze in the town and it's a great revival seeing that we, we don't have flat yards anymore. This is the next best thing, best thing to a flat yard that has happened to in a long time. Are you having fun? And long may it yeah. continue. We're absolutely yeah. enjoying, enjoying that. Brilliant music. Yeah. Great, yeah. Music. great music. Great music. Never in most of the pubs in the town. Absolutely brilliant. They were ever so happy. They were ever so sad. To roll in a new world through good times and bad. All the parties and weddings, the Kayleys and wakes, when New York was Irish, full of joys and heartbreaks. I'd be pointing out the landmarks everywhere we go. You're back in town for the Trad uh, Festival. Is that important to you? I think it's it's um, it's fantastic that we have a Trad Festival. Like all good ideas, when I first heard the Trad Festival, Joe, I thought that's ambitious because we've always had great traditional players around the town, but the town wouldn't actually be renowned for traditional music <coughs> as much as other towns might be. But it was such a success, and it drew so many great musicians to town, and it's mixed up with all the locals and mm -hmm. it's, it's just been a resounding success and it's we need a bit of action in town and this has <laughs> given it to us it's fantastic and um you'll join in the sessions will you yeah i'm not much of a trad player now myself but sure like all festivals it doesn't matter what the genre is as long as it's a bit of bit of music mm -hmm. actually there's a bit of history on the saw doctors connected to this pub because uh, some of the N17, the famous song of yours, was actually written here, isn't that right? Yeah, this is Brown's Bar and we used to drink here and 
when we were doing our first ever video, N17. It was actually way, way back. It was before it was a single. There was friends of ours from Wales came over making a program about the west of Ireland. And they were like the equivalent of TG Cahar. They were the Welsh language um, station. So they were friends of ours. And they asked us, would, could they make a video for us? So they did. And right beside this fire is where we did some of it. And I remember it was roasting and the guitar was nearly burnt to life. of June was that, um, you know, we had a great uh, industry here when we had the sugar factory, but following the uh, closure of the factory, we had a time of, I would call, mourning and recovery. And I think we've got to a stage now where we're, actually, the town is, is, is really on its feet. We have some great industries here. We have the likes of Valeo, who are employing in excess of 1,200 people in the town. And we have the likes of uh, JFC. We have the likes of uh, Transition Optical, Unilock. We have so many more industries here, they're just to name but a few. Uh, and we have the likes of Logstrip who are here for years. So anybody who comes to town here, sets up business, uh, waits in town. And I think that's very important. We have a very uh, good workforce, well educated. We have a huge education facilities in the town. And thankfully we have a new Gale Square just opened. We have a new vocational school being built at the moment. And now, right now, the M17, M18, which gives us connectivity to Knock Airport, less than two quarters of an hour, to Shannon Airport, less than an hour, and to Dublin Airport, less than two hours. And I think that is very important. Siobhan, you're deputy editor of the Tumor, a long association with the town here at the newspaper. Indeed, and we're actually celebrating our 180th year this year, um, Henry, so we're delighted to have been in local journalism for that length of time, and we're looking forward to uh, increasing that over the years to come as well. And during that time, we've always been here, part of the town, part of the wider community, and uh, hope to remain so. Well, what kind of stories are making the news in the local newspaper? Well, I suppose, Henry, you know yourself, everything is local, really, and uh, that's why I suppose the local newspaper is so successful, is we carry the stories that maybe the national media mightn't um, tend to cover. Everything is local from sport. Obviously, Galway's great double success has been huge, huge stories over the last few weeks in sports and in news and in photographs. And of course, photographs play a huge role in the paper. Everyone loves to see the picture in the paper, whether it's your first communion, your Debs, or your sporting heroes. So photos are always a big part. You know, what's happening here today? Well, uh, I'm teaching Constina for the workshop as part of the Tune Threadfest. It's my first time here. I'm, I'm from Milton Melbourne in West Clare, but uh, first time here. We have a good, enthusiastic bunch. And uh, yeah, the workshop is going not only Constina, but they have loads of instruments, box, fiddle, whistle, dancing, singing, and a good few more. Like, yeah, there's, uh, there's concerts on during the day, and there's a uh, there's a competition for young musicians, and then it's like any good festival, just a few sessions in the pubs later.
Tom, Shaskin has been on the road a long time now. You're the star attraction now for the June Trad Festival tonight here in the Ardwee Hotel. What can people look forward to this evening? Well, to, to this evening now is going to be more, more Kayleigh set dancing, but it depends on the crowd that turns up, whether they're strictly uh, set dancing or Kayleigh, or they want a bit of Kamalia, or they want to sit down and listen to a few tunes or listen to a song. Uh, the last time we were here, it was a bit of both, a bit of everything. Well, congratulations, 50 years coming up now in the business, a long time, and I've no doubt you'll have a great night here tonight in the Ardry Hotel for the Trad Festival. Well, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. I meant to be fair, and I should, I should mention Anne Cohn in this context, a mighty woman, to pull all this together and, and keep it going and things like that. So I'm looking forward. We'll, we'll give it our best shot anyway, and uh, hopefully they'll, play, they'll be hanging out of the rafters. Never let me cry. I'm joined now by well-known Moscow musician Tommy Grehan. Uh, you're very welcome indeed, Tommy. Thank you very much. Uh, this is your debut album. It is, indeed. Long time in the making? Long time coming, yeah. Um, I just brought it out now. Uh, I'm not going to make a fortune, I'm sure, <laughs> but uh, it's a bit late in life now, but uh, I'm delighted to have it done anyway. So mm -hmm. it's a reflection of the music I've, playing, I've, I've played over the years, and uh, I just put it all on the one, mm -hmm. on the one album. So. Any particular reason for the title? I love it. The Torn Jacket. The Torn Jacket. Well, <coughs> I come from Arigna in, in North Oscama, which was a mine, mine in, you know, coal mine, coal mining area. And you'd see people going to work there, and they all would have, if they hadn't Torn Jackets on the way to work, they <laughs> certainly would have one on the, on the way back. <laughs> <laughs> and, and fairly black as well, you know. So I just thought it's, actually, it's the name of the tune as well, the Torn Jacket. Uh, it's one of Connie O'Connell's tunes from a uh, fiddle player from County Cork. Mm. So uh, I thought it was appropriate, like, you know. Now, and, and in particular, were well, you launching it here this afternoon in the Thatch Pub, a gorgeous pub here in the, in the centre of uh, Tume. Yeah. Uh, any particular reason you've launched it for the Tume Trad Festival? Well, I, I come, I've been coming to the Tume Festival now for years, and I really enjoy it because, uh, and the main reason is. Uh, uh, the person that the main person that's running this is Anne Smith, mm. uh, Anne Cohen, or married name, and she really knows her music, and she gets all really talented. Well, mm. I, I'm not saying this that bad musicians, but she really has the cream, the of, really the cream. The cream of the cream yes. here. And Anne doesn't ask you to come here. She says, uh, "You're it gets going. An order. <laughs> you're going. You're going to Tume this year, and that's it." <laughs> so, <laughs> like, I, I love Tume. It's a really great place, and I really enjoy this weekend. Well, good wishes uh, with the new album. I hope it does very well for you, Tommy. Thank you very much. Do you much. think we could persuade you to do uh, maybe a tune from the album? Yeah, sure. I'll, play a couple, I'll try and play a couple of tunes. Yeah, what a late called? night last night, but uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll see how it goes. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
crowds are getting bigger every year. The musicians, we have the younger people. The young kids that started with us seven years ago are now adults. So now we have the young, other ones coming up and it's fabulous. Mm. We had our workshops this morning attended by over, over 100 kids. So like it's marvelous and they've come from all the pe people that's there this morning for, um, from Cork. Uh, people down from Methalone, people up from Clare, from Mayo, from Sligo, um, so it's absolutely fabulous. As a former Mayor of Toon here, um, I think uh, that uh, the festival here in Tune, this is our seventh annual festival and it's, it's an absolute great boost for our town, it's great for, for, for uh, all the people concerned and it, first of all I want to say a sincere thank you to all the committee and to Anne Cohn for their dedicated and wonderful work over the last seven years in promoting Tune and having the festival here in Tune. I think it's absolutely wonderful. Well, you know, Henry, it really brings a buzz around the town. Anything, everyone, everyone likes a bit of cure like a crack. And uh, trad is always a great feel-good factor. And uh, music is very close to the heart of, of tune. We've had a long tradition of music, traditional rock, everything. We throw everything into the mix here. Um, and as we mentioned, the Ed 17, you couldn't come to tune and not mention the Saw Doctors. And they're um, a, great, a, a great ambassador for the town. But the Tune Trad Festival, we missed it last year, we have to say. And we celebrate Anne Cohn's involvement in it. And she's a... She's a wonderful woman for bringing everything together, I have to say. She's a, a great asset to the town, and everyone has really looked forward to it. The opening was a great, great, um, vibrant feel to it. It gives a boost to the, the, to the traders here, to the pubs, to venues, and it instills the traditional music into their young. And that is what it's all about as well, because I suppose they're, they're all listening to all different types of music, but you can't beat that liveliness of traditional music. Come back again to me. Well, it's almost time for us to go. Before we leave you, can I remind you that after the break, we'll be crossing over to join Martin Logan in Manchester. Well, all that's left for me to say is we've had a wonderful time here in the town of Tume for the annual traditional music festival, and I'm going to go in and enjoy some more music. So until next week, Slonga Fall. <laughs>